How are you doing today? How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. Thanks for having me. We thanks are, for coming. <laughs> thanks for coming. Um, Gregory Lucas, in case you guys don't know, he's an up-and-coming universal recording artist, and he has a single out on iTunes. It's called Stay. Um, tell us what inspired that, that song. That song is based off of um, a relationship that I went through. We all go through that first love experience of tragedy and heartbreak, and uh, I definitely took that experience and molded it into kind of memories and lyrics that I could always remember. Um, and as the song was produced and completed, it kind of turned into a different message um, to myself to kind of remind myself what I've turned into and to remain that that person that I want to stay and fall in love yeah, again. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's good. That's yeah. Really creative. Thank you. So um, how did you get started? I got started. Ah, oh, that's a long answer. <laughs> Um, I started in musical theater when I was about nine years old. Uh, my parents saw this spark in me. Does your parents sing? Any of your parents? My yeah, I'm adopted, actually, so my biological side, my birth father sings. Okay. He has a band down in Mexico, Texas. But um, I was placed into musical theater, and I kind of got my drive and my inspiration through performance. Um, and when I was 13, I uh, got accepted into the School of American Ballet, which is the official school of the New York City Ballet where I did a lot of productions with the New York City Ballet, and then I also attended the Professional Performing Arts School here in Manhattan, right on 48th Street, where I kind of made my connections, met a lot of artists currently in the scene and people on TV, and I just got a lot of inspiration to kind of go after it myself and continue to, to bring light to the world through my music and through my message that I want to bring to people. Wow, that is so, that is so inspiring. Um, what <laughs> genre of music do you enjoy and which genre do you identify with? You know, I enjoy a huge range of music. So basically anything that means something to another artist, I'll respect enough to listen to. Yeah. But, um, I mean, if I was on my iPod, I would definitely put on some like John Legend, some slow adult contemporary R&B, just because I feel like the message you can connect to a lot more than just, hey, I'm going to shake my butt in the club and... yeah. Be ratchet, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I personally like um, R&B music as well. Um, is that what your music is based off of? Is it um, R strictly R&B, soul? Lot of, a lot of my music, actually, it has a lot of uh, elements of live musicianship. So I try and incorporate, um, like, real-sounding music with kind of an R&B, like, groove to it. So it's definitely, it all has a groove with kind of relating itself to R&B, but it's not like R&B, R&B, strictly, like strictly strict. R &B, yeah. R &B. That's right. cool. Um, who are your favorite bands or singers in the industry right now? Oh my goodness, what a question. My favorite artist right now, definitely John Legend. His song, All of Me, is incredible. That's why it's number one on iTunes right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but definitely uh, newcomers like Lord, like they, they, they sit down and they write their music from their heart, from their passion, from their experiences. And... I definitely want people to start noticing that rather than having these artists come into the, the game with a humongous team of songwriters behind them and that's not really them. It's it's marketed to creating them into this machine. And I respect that because they work hard, but music is so much more than that. It was so much more than that. And I'm trying to bring that back to the world and try and have my listeners and fans be able to relate to that wow. that realness. So you were saying that you are really passionate about singing and songwriting. Um, just in case, do you play any, any instruments? Piano. You do? Yes, I do. Wow. How long have you been playing the piano? Um, not forever, but I, I've, I've, I've kind of just began molding my chords together for my own songs to be able to perform them live or kind of have that additional up with my game because you need mm -hmm. to be able to do so many things nowadays as an artist and definitely performing live with incorporating a music like a, a musical instrument that's that's what music's about it's not just standing behind a microphone being like hey i can sing yes you can sing but can you do anything more than that right yeah. and i think versatility is is very important in yes. this industry yes. now yes absolutely um how long did it take you to learn the piano um i'm still learning the piano so okay. i can I, I i can just say that i'm st and start playing which would it be the violin 
I like that too. I had a feeling have, you would say that. I have so many friends that are on my records that play violin, and I look at them, and I'm, I, I, I took maybe two violin classes when I was like 10, and I don't remember a thing, and it was impossible, but it's so amazing. It's so cool to be able to play with a bow and have strings that make noise. Yeah, it's awesome. and it's made out of horse hair, I think. I, right? I know. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, a violin. feel bad for the horses, but yeah. sorry. Definitely my first choice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you have a really big fan base on Instagram. Uh, for anyone that's listening, uh, you should follow him on Instagram. It's Gregory with an I at the end, Lucas. Uh, he has a website too. We'll post it on our Facebook Lucas page. Lucas with a K. Lucas with a K. We have Lucas to be K. different with both right. names. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um. Do you have a Facebook? I do. Facebook.com slash Gregory Lucas. Okay. All my social media is Gregory Lucas. So okay. Good. Backslash Gregory Lucas. <laughs> So um, keep it simple. <laughs> How did you adjust to having such a large fan base? Okay, you know, being able to adjust to having people into you and having people follow you and having people say that I am their inspiration has definitely it's been really humbling to me. I've always I've always looked up to artists and to be able to connect with them in some sort of way and. Is, is amazing and nowadays like social media brings that exactly to the listeners that they're able to ask me questions and I'm not afraid to connect with them back like that's that's what my message is about I want to be able to connect and understand what it is that they're going through and hopefully be able to create something that can do that exactly for them to bring that kind of message that things get better or things can get worse but there's always a light at the end of the tunnel yeah. So connection, that's, that's that's what it's about for me. It's about connection and right. being able to talk to my Gregorians. <laughs> is, that, is that what your fan base Gregorians, is yes, Gregorian, Gregorian army. <laughs> Some of them are listening right now. Hello, guys. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, if they are listening, if you guys want to um, call in, our number is 718-951-4444. That is 718-951-4444. It's like one of those fake numbers, 555-5555. Five, 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 five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't singing, what would you be doing? I would absolutely, without a doubt, be doing something that I actually still want to do in the future when I have a little bit more of an established fan base and stuff. I want to open a charity. I want to work with kids that have special needs. I want to work with the LGBT community, bringing light to those people because there's too many people across this nation that are dying for absolutely no reason, for absolutely no, nothing at all. Like, again, like I want to bring something bigger than just my music to be able to use my platform in a positive way and reach the masses and this generation. That is right. amazing. Yeah. Um, are there any organizations that you identify with most? The Trevor Project. Uh, okay. Could you they elaborate are, on it? They're based for L the LGBT community, but they're a uh, crisis hotline. So if you're going through something and if you feel like you want to harm yourself in any sort of way, you can call them 24-7 and there's always someone on the other line to pick up, to listen, and to hopefully bring you out of that situation that yeah. you're in and that's that's something that i want to do too i would love to volunteer with them to be able to sit on the other line and talk someone through their struggles okay um so you're saying i'll talking a lot about um um volunteering and getting out there what where do you see yourself in 10 years what's next for you what's next for me i am actually currently kind of putting together and recording my EP, which is an extended play, kind of like a half of an album for those of you that don't know what that is. People are always <laughs> like, what is an EP? What yeah. does that mean? EP, LP. Yeah, LP, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's going to be about five or six uh, brand new tracks aside from my debut single that's out right now on iTunes. But it's it's that's kind of the next step. Hopefully by summer that'll be ready to be launched and explode. But in 10 years, I want to have a multi-platinum three albums out already and touring the world and being able to see all my little Gregorians all over the world. That is so cool. So um, we have someone that wants you to sing. I don't know if you prepared your instrument right Can now. Can you sing? Will you sing? Why Why not? <laughs> all right. So <laughs> anything, anything. Give us a little bit. Well, you Give know, us why a don't chorus I, from your new was, music. <laughs> new music I'm going to avoid right now okay. just Alrighty. because, but I, I'll do a, part of my debut single it's okay. called stay awesome give us a little bit let me figure out where i want to start 
I'd travel the world with you, I'd run with you, no matter where you have to stay now. But don't you walk away from me, don't you ever think I'm gonna let you go away from my life. I wanna hold you, I wanna let you feel like you are the only one. You are the only one. That wow. was amazing. Yay. That's Encore. a singer. That's yes. a vocalist. Thank you for that. Of course. Yeah. That's why I'm here. So, um, moving on, we prepared a game for you. Yes, I love games. We all do. <laughs> um, so, basically, what it is, is you're going to pick five questions randomly out of a bag. You okay. have to answer four of them. And the one that you choose not to answer, you have to direct to one of the hosts, either me or Rita. So you have, you you only have one minute, and you're under a timer. For so, all five. Yeah. Oh, okay. So so fast. So like very fast. Like show. here we go. <laughs> all right, <laughs> one second. First question. First question. Yes. Is worst habit um, talking over people? I have a lot to say, so sometimes I talk too much and don't let people have their own spot but yes okay here we go next question is most embarrassing moment um okay this actually happened to me a few weeks ago i was walking on fifth avenue mm -hmm. and i was slipping on black ice and i thought i was gonna fall i didn't but there was lots of people watching me that next was question. the most embarrassing <laughs> yes nothing really i don't get embarrassed <laughs> say something in a different language uh <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's Russian. Um, I said, hello, my name is Gregory. I am very well, thank you. It made no sense, but whatever. Moving on. <laughs> Using only one word, describe your first kiss. Sexy. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to direct this question to one of you. Would you duet... Oh, who would you duet with and then do it with? So Artie. Artie, who, you, who would you do a duet with? Britney Spears. Who would you want to have sex with? Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> Time is up. Yes. I passed. All right. I think. So, that was fun. Thank you for stopping by. Gregory Lucas, everyone. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could you could stay after the show. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> Catch his um, new single. You guys can which download is out on that. on iTunes here. Um, on iTunes. And stay tuned for more constant conversations. Here is Stay by Gregory Lucas. For our crazy love I never thought it wasn't real You never hurt me You never made me feel Like I'm not the only one As time goes by I realize we're meant to be together I'd give my life for you I'd die for you I'll even change You have to stay now But don't you walk away from me Don't you ever think I'm gonna let you go Away from my life I wanna hold you I wanna let you feel Like you are the only one You are the only one us against the world it felt so powerful together all I was hoping all I was wishing for was to be the only one as seasons change I realize we're meant to be together I'd travel the world for you, I'd run with you, no matter where You have to stay now, but don't you walk away from me Don't you ever think I'm gonna let you go away from my life I wanna hold you, I wanna let you feel like you Don't you ever think 